After I won the fight and finally became a champion, I thought of my father. I saw his face and I felt he was there next to me. I still think about him every day. Alright everyone, today we're going to be discussing the career of the man from Japan with the bombing left hand, Takashi Miura. I would like to start by saying thank you to my friend Scott from the Asian Boxing website. Without him, this video would have been much more difficult to fully complete. So let's get started. Takashi Miura was born in Akita, Japan on May 14th in 1984. He got his start in boxing while in high school, officially concluding his amateur career with a record of 34 wins, 6 losses, and 22 knockouts. Many people always felt that his aggressive power punching style was more suited for the professional ranks. He officially debuted as a professional in the year 2003 winning a unanimous 6 round decision against fellow Japanese fighter Yutaka Sato. In 2007, Miura would challenge for the Japanese super featherweight title against Yusuke Kobori. Kobori's speed proved to be way too much for Miura as he lost by a unanimous 10 round decision and failed to claim the national title. After knocking out three overmatched Thailand opponents, Miura would challenge for the Japanese 130 pound belt yet again against Yoshimitsu Yashiro in 2009. This was a competitive fight with Yashiro utilizing his footwork to outbox Miura and Miura using his pressure and his effective power punching to hurt Yashiro and knock him down in the fight. The end result was a draw with Miura failing to grab the title. Six months later however, Miura would challenge Yashiro again and knock him out in the seventh round to claim the national title in his 19th fight. Takashi would defend this belt four times, the first being a unanimous decision over Masuyuki Koguchi, the second being a split decision over Seichi Okada, the third being a technical knockout in the third round over Hiroto Takashita, and the final defense being a technical knockout in the ninth round against Takashi Inagaki. Miura would finally get his first shot at greatness in 2011 when he challenged fellow Japanese power puncher Takashi Uchiyama for the WBA Super Featherweight belt. This was advertised to be a very exciting matchup with Uchiyama's main asset being his strong right hand and Miura's main asset being his strong left hand. Miura tried his very best to keep this fight as competitive as possible, effectively exchanging with Uchiyama, even successfully knocking him down in the third round. Unfortunately, Uchiyama rose to the occasion, making proper use of his power jab and straight right hand to pummel Miura with range. This caused Miura's right eye to shut completely, making his team throw in the towel and causing Miura to lose his first world title fight by RTD in the 8th round. Nevertheless, Miura did not allow this to deter him from achieving his dream of becoming world champion someday. He would go on to train at the Tekken Gym, training with men like Sendai Tanaka, the trainer of multiple world champions in Japan, and would go on to have four fights, including a first round knockout over Ryuji Migaki, the former OPBF lightweight champion. In 2013, Miura's second chance at greatness would come when he challenged Camille Diaz for the WBC Super Featherweight World title. Here, Takashi would showcase his newfound skills in timing, power, and accuracy hurting Diaz multiple times and knocking him out finally in the ninth round. It was here that Miura would be crowned the new WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World, finally realizing his dream, only saddened by the fact that his father was not there to see it happen. Takashi would use his bombing left hand power to successfully defend his world title four different times, the first title defense being against number one contender Mexican Sergio Thompson. For this fight, Miura would travel to Mexico to defend his title. This would be a grueling war where Takashi would show his true heart and grit getting up from a knockdown to doing constant damage to Thompson with extreme power shots. The title would be successfully defended with a unanimous 12 round decision over Thompson. Title defense number 2 would be against Dante Jardin, another Mexican who was the WBC's number 2 ranked contender. This fight would be held in Japan and Miura would manage to knock out Jardon in the ninth round to maintain his belt. His next defense would be against Mexican Edgar Pueta, ranked as the number one contender by the WBC. Pueta would be damaged with body and head shots resulting in him being stopped in round number six. These continuous wins over Mexican opponents would cause many of Miura's fans to give him the additional alias of the Mexicutioner. 
Defense number four would be against strong Australian boxer Billy Dibb, who was the former IBF featherweight champion and ranked number seven by the WBC's world rankings. This would be a relatively short fight, with Dibb being drilled with an explosive left hand to the jaw and being knocked out in the third round of the fight. We would see Miura's title reign finally come to an end in the year 2015 when he traveled to the United States on the Canelo Cotto undercard to face Mexican challenger Francisco Vargas. Vargas was ranked number one by the WBC and was seen by many boxing experts as the favorite to win the fight. Although he was hurt many times by Miura, even being knocked down once, his superior combination punching and speed allowed him to pull out with the win by knocking Miura out in the ninth round, placing the WBC strap in the hands of Mexico. After this, Muro would have a relatively easy 2016, facing overmatched Filipino fighter Jimmy Borbon and blasting him with a left hand in the first round. In the year 2017, Muro would face extremely tough Mexican contender Miguel Mickey Roman in a WBC Eliminator match in America. This was a destructive war with both fighters looking to win by knockout. Miura's power punching and body attacks allowed him to overthrow Roman and knock him out in the 12th round. This win guaranteed Takashi a shot at the new WBC super featherweight champion Miguel Alacran Berchelt. Stepping into the ring for the final time, Miura would attempt to liquidate Berchelt of the belt and take his old title back. Many fans thought this would be a fight of the year contender, with both boxers choosing to violently slug it out. However, Berchelt would actually use his legs in an effective manner to outbox Miura from the outside and cause his come forward game plan to result in an absolute failure. Berchelt kept the title in Mexico, winning a unanimous 12 round decision and even dropping Miura in the first round. Following this defeat, Takashi Miura would finally retire, concluding his professional career with a record of 34 wins, 4 losses, 2 draws, and 22 knockout victories. A small ceremony would be held to honor the Japanese champion's withdrawal from the sport. Tell me what you think of Takashi Miura. Which one of his fights was your favorite? For me it would either be the Thompson fight or the battle with Mickey Roman. Takashi will always be one of my favorite boxers because of the way he left it all out in the ring, displaying hard punching ability and the courage of a lion, never making any excuses in victory or defeat. I would like to again thank Scott from Asian Boxing for helping me make this video.